A few people have asked me where the Empty Pools graphic comes from, so this is a little video explaining exactly the history and how it all came together over many, many years. I first started skateboarding, I think, in 1985. I really got into skateboarding, and my first board was uh, one of the Billy Ruff goblets. It was a neon green one. I had blue gull wings and Powell uh, uh, Bones 3 super soft wheels. I totally remember my first board. And that what, that's what got me that's what got me started back in 85 and then I kept skating and skating and one funny thing I remember when I was first starting you know you I wasn't that good and I just tried skating a ditch and I couldn't even turn front side the ditch and but so I could only turn backside then I watched uh, future primitive and I watched the pool session at Gonzalez pool and I saw Cavalier doing front side grinds and I'm thinking I can't even turn front side in a ditch and this guy's doing this so I'm like, I gotta learn so I just kept skating and skating, and uh, over time, I, you know, like most people, built ramps if you could. Uh, I had a couple half pipes, and then I built one called the Mini Chin Ramp. Uh, me and my friend Mark built it, and it was uh, semi-popular in the '80s. Uh, been in some videos. Uh, I remember Neil Blender used to come and skate, Steve Clare, uh, the Alvug Boys, and some other fun people. Uh, so then. When they came, I got to um, know some of the guys, and then they started taking me some pools, and that was really interesting to me. So then we started skating pools, and then I really got into that. So then I was skating uh, with Daryl Delgado almost every single day. We were going to pools, and then so then one time we did a, um, Kevin Thatcher came down to San Diego was doing a, a episode on um, San Diego. So he did this, and this is the episode. This is the Thrasher Mag it came out in '89. And there was an article on San Diego in there. So when I got it, um, you know, looked through there, of course, you know, I want to see, there was no pictures of me. But then flipping through later on, there was also something in this section called uh, 100 Pools. So they talked about 100 Pools, and I happened to have the opening picture of it, of me. So it was my first picture in Thrashers. I was really stoked on that. So that was the first one. So... Anyway, so that happened in 89, and then in 90, 1990, for my 21st birthday, uh, they threw me a surprise party, and really cool is that uh, the guy, uh, Artist Guff, who did lots of the Alva graphics back in the um, 80s, he did the uh, the Dave Duncan Claw, the Fred Smith Punk Size, Craig Johnson, uh, uh, one for Jim Murphy, and I think a Chris Cook one too, he did quite a few of those, but he drew this birthday card for me for my 21st birthday and a lot of people signed it even drew like uh something inside but anyway so i always kept it and just had it you know and so then years uh after that i was getting uh boards from alva uh they were uh giving me some daryl was and dave duncan and things like that and then one day i met chris miller at uh the bobby g skate camp i was helping uh kids up there during one summer and chris miller was the pro of the day so he came there and while the kids were eating lunch I said to him, I'll do There's a pool down the street. You want to go? He goes, yeah. So we went and skated a pool. And after that, me and Chris uh, stayed in contact, and we started skating a bunch of pools. Then he told me that he was going to um, open, starting his own company called Planet Earth. And he goes, if I wanted some boards, would I ride them? And he didn't know that he was like my favorite skater at the time. I had to play it cool, but I'm like, yeah. And so then that was right at the time when um, the first couple boards he gave me, like I remember his with the, the, cow, uh, the sleeping cat looking at a bird. And then, so it had some different shapes, and that's when like the popsicle boards first started coming out. And I had size 13 feet, and so and I'm all, I'm all, well, dude, I can't ride these boards; my feet are too big. So then he said, design your own shape. But this is actually one of the original boards still that Scott Obradovich, who used to do the graphics for H Street, uh, helped me design this board. And this is the I kept one. This is the board that I uh, had for Planet Earth, custom made for me back then. I was so stoked. Anyway, so then you know. You know, things went on, progress, and uh, I became really good friends with Dennis Martinez, who's one of my best friends now. And, uh, you know, he's from GNS, uh, Flying Aces, you know, all the stuff he did back in the 70s. And then he wanted to start his own skateboard company. He goes, hey, do you want to you wanna do this with me? I said, yeah, I'll you know, help you out if I can. And so then he said, yeah, you got to do a board of mine. I don't want a board of my name on it. I don't deserve it. But I said, let's do one about pools. So let's do a reminiscent. And so what we did is I used the... From this, the graphic from my birthday card, and the old shape, and we did the empty pools board. You know, it has that shape, has that classic thing. So it's really cool that a board that was inspired 
by the eighties, not only the boards and but graphics that was uh, given to me in the nineties and then was repurposed in like the two thousand teens. So that is the history of the Empty Pools board. It's a uh, still a great board. It's uh, I think it's thirty two inches. Uh, by 10 inches with a 16 inch wheelbase so yeah that's the history of it uh i still ride it indy 215s it's good stuff that's it thanks